Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one only. How all my adventures doing? Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day. So, a little bit of the talking session, then we'll go on to the dungeon tackling, which will be Holy Holy Temple. This video. Uh, then we actually do another temp in mutated parry dungeon, which is mutated PC. Um, so <sighs> I was wondering. If you guys would be interested in me streaming this instead of just recording it, because it would just be like an hour or two of me tackling an area, then doing a dungeon rush, then ending the video there. The only issue with that is for YouTube, it would end up inside of the streaming section. It wouldn't end up being uploaded as like normal YouTube video, which I think will be fine but it really depends on you guys if you guys would prefer that other than me just editing the video and you know going through that because i'm not sure how i would do when it comes to like streaming a mmo because most of the time i go silent if i don't have anybody to talk to when it comes to that but i could probably that would probably be fine for like just for just like um two hours yeah i could be talking to actually now i think about it i think i'll be fine but it really depends on what you guys really want or really are into for that streaming or recording let me know down in the comments it will actually help a lot with future videos or streams because i don't mind streaming because it would avoid because i would avoid editing at the end and either way it goes, it benefits me. But you guys will have a video to watch or a stream to watch then and there. I should say VOD instead of like video. You guys will have a VOD to watch of what went on. So that can also happen. So I'm not sure. So yeah, whichever one you guys choose, pick one. Um so monster girl utopia a little bit of news on that uh we just uploaded the first image of hydra on the on a community tab of her redesign just a little bit of a sneak peek nothing extremely special right now i mostly only put up sketches when it comes to the monster girls i only put up sketches into like the full art is done as soon as the full art is done then i do a whole video on it and upload that so at the moment just sketches um the next thing i actually wanted to talk about Okay, the next thing I wanted to talk about is that I want to try and do a retro stream sooner or later. Uh, it's going to be on the weekends. I want to try and do it on Fridays, but it could actually been, end up being on Sunday. It could either be a retro Sunday or a retro Friday. I think retro Sunday sounds better, but I think I'll try it, try it probably this Friday. If not this Friday, then Sunday whichever one comes first because i have a lot of fun old xbox games that i actually want to go back and try and play man so much nostalgia is inside of these games that i used to play and i'm looking forward to actually like you know sharing a little bit with you guys so with that said that's a plan i have available to me uh then on the usual like weekends well you guys know this i say it every time just so people can know i don't upload videos on the weekends you see their fridays are strictly for me saturdays is for streaming and playing with friends sunday i have to start recording again for monday it really it really depends on like how i like kind of change up my weekends it really depends. Well, there's a lot of cool things that I have planned. It's just getting through with the <laughs> Grand Fantasia, like private server exploring 
series. So the streams might actually help for this and make it go a little bit faster to where I don't have to do all the editing. Or if you guys want just, you know, this in a video form so I can skip all the, you know, le less interesting stuff. Or if you guys want to, you know, chill inside of the stream with me and talk a little bit, I would say we can also do that. All right, this is my second time recording this because freaking Sony Vegas keeps wanting to crash and go normal spots. So, yeah, I'm going to just do this by bits and pieces so I can just save it and keep going. So the next printed news I wanted to talk about was um, the Grafitasia servers. Uh, not too much is going on inside of the official server. The official server is still doing the same stuff. Uh, nothing unique there other than them just doing anniversary gift packs for logins. Uh, log on to the game during a certain time of the event and redeem your item mall item. Uh, it's going to be an anniversary celebration pack, which you will get a anniversary celebration headwear and a anniversary celebration costume item box. You will also get a greater. You will also get a greater uh, blacksmith repair mallet, which is, I guess, good. It's good for a free item, that's for sure. But don't waste it on a weapon you really won't use long term. I would definitely save that because that'll just be a waste if you're just, you know, fortituting a weapon and it becomes useless to where you waste those mallets. Those mallets are actually. Very precious for free to, free to play. Then you get the double body. Well, you get the voodoo body double. You get two of those as well. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. If anybody else knows this, it's been a while since I've actually. Well, actually, I've never touched the voodoo items because they never really were present in the game, honestly. And I don't think there was any other way to actually like get them. If anybody knows. A different way of getting the voodoo items let me know because i think the only npc that would actually take it is that npc across from the sprites around that tree where the alchemist is in that general area to the left of those sprites is an npc that deals with the cor the corals the quills I think there's a quill NPC that deals with that to where you can make like fortitude stones with the voodoo dolls, if I remember correctly. If I'm wrong, somebody correct me on that. Uh, Grand Fantasia really doesn't give like really good instructions when it comes to like a lot of the mechanics and the NPCs in the game. So that's an issue. But if you guys have played um, Eden Eternal and stuff like that, they kind of teach you how to do that stuff and it kind of transfers over a little bit to to Grand Fantasia. That's the only reason most or some players know how that works. But uh, the next thing is they did an item update mall. This is the official server, by the way, if I haven't said it. But the official server has also added them three new um, items. They added in... Wait, is it three new items? No, they added in quite a bit. They added in a new staff cosmetic. So these are just cosmetics that they added in in, in amount. Uh, the cosmetic is a illusionary holy cross staff, which is pretty meh. Uh, the second thing is the wings with the little dragon heads facing towards like the back of the player, which I think we have another variant of that. Uh, the next is the black alpaca. It's not gold this time. It's just black. <laughs> then we have a um, throne that looks like an idol stage to where you can dance with your friends. And it seems like it'll, it can hold up to like five people. And there, here's the kicker. Here's their major update. They labeled this as major. I want you guys to know this. This is a major update. <laughs> and I'm going to read this. I quote. To celebrate the anniversary event, a server-wide limited time XP plus 
and drop rate plus 30% will be implemented after today's maintenance. <laughs> this line this lasts up into the 21st. God damn, dude, you gotta you gotta love that 30% XP versus like all the other item XPs that we have. You can just do double XP. You are just gonna make it normal and just do double XP? Like really? Alright, anyhow, that's that's all it is for for the official server. Uh the next server we're gonna go ahead and go into is Violet. Violet hasn't really posted too much at the moment. Um I don't really think they've said much other than they fixed some bugs where uh talents could not swap with uh two weapons equipped. Uh PvP missions. Let's see, missions that rewarded a thousand hearts points have been removed. Okay. Extreme quill formulas have been removed as rewards from dungeon book missions. And Toro armor. Or Tyro. Tyrot Tyrant armor? <laughs> the resist. The resist to physical and magical pin, uh, respective to the armor level, has been added. Hmm. Okay. That's it for Violet. Nothing new for them, really. Um, Memories is kind of like all over the place, really, right now. Uh, they haven't really done any real updates for what I've seen. Oh, no, here's one. I forgot they they did quite a lot of modifications uh let's go to since i haven't played in a while i've actually been like trying to focus and finish the other servers let's go ahead and talk about what's going on over here let me go ahead and stop this recording and make sure it doesn't freeze all right so the major things they've done is they increase profits buffs and holy barrier to 20 meters for a level 68 to 90. Uh, the combat mount flora scroll is no longer available to be used on the battlefield. Added archive for scale items, which is basically the tier spender from area games. If you guys are confused about that. Um, added the beast tower weapons to archive. Mage no longer has or probably adds on. But it says Mage Warlock, max MP plus 1% specialization at level 45 now offers movement speed per level. Uh, added a memory sign on a abyss map where it is located at the entrance of Guild versus Guild. Uh, added missing costumes from the Alchemy released to Archive and... Warmog duration is now one hour. I don't know what the hell Warmog is, but, you know, I missed a couple of things. I haven't been playing for, like, I don't know how long now. <laughs> uh, Puppet buff no longer disappears on death. It's probably uh, Keymaster. That's probably Keymaster. And just saying, change Druid's puppet skill. Just saying, just saying, dude. It's it's shit. Every server should change it. Just saying, it's just complete shit. <laughs> uh, next thing is legendary one-handed weapon, one-handed sword. That's what I should say. One-handed sword level eighty-five now has a twenty percent activation rate. Don't remember what that is. Uh, reduce evasion ring. Evasion. Oh. Yeah, reduce evasion on PvP ring. Modify the Ranger's PvP set. It at four pieces. It used to regen HP. Now it immobilizes enemies for five seconds with a twenty percent activation rate and goes on cooldown for fifteen. With five pieces, it gave the fucking excuse me. It gave fifty percent physical. What the fuck does it give fifty percent physical? Or did it? I well, I should say did. Why did it do that? <laughs> but um, 
it now instead seals physical and magic skills by 15 percent for two seconds and goes on cooldown for eight seconds then they fix some ancient talent that offers anti-stun upon crit now lasts up to 1.5 seconds at level one and two seconds for level two uh corrections they make corrections to a whole bunch of things. Uh, new content. Uh, created a box for Beast Tower material conversion exchange with the same NPC that offers Ignites. Ignites. Uh, you offer a material. Okay, so let's see. You offer a beast tower material and the NPC will give you a box with seven ignite or 1,700 otherworldly earth, earth souls. I've gotten into this. Which is the gold value of ignite ignites. Okay. So next is. Now when changing class at level 65 to 66, in addition, include legacy gear plus 61, and you receive a class respective sprite set. Sprite set? You receive a sprite or a set? Sprite set? I guess armor was? Is that what it's going for? I don't know, but um, okay. So the next one is they created a berserker's level ninety group ability. Okay, so berserker has a group ability. I've never seen a warrior. Any of the warriors have group abilities. Now that I think about it, allow you to accumulate a debuff on an enemy up to four times. Oh, that's interesting. Reduces the enemy's attack speed by 8%. Available for purchase when... Oh, available for purchase from trainer NPC. Duh. Okay. Next thing. Created a level 38 pistol that now activates... That activates on being hit. Does not combine with original pixel pistol. Created with Sprite, the same material. Okay, so they made a new pistol, orange pistol that you can use. Uh, created a 20 new crown to be used for events. With colors and name chosen by the, okay, that's just event stuff. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is a vent thing. No, not a vent thing. This is like guild stuff. Enable Sprite King Grinny. All buffs. Yeah, this is guild stuff. All buffs take a thousand goes to activate. Uh, first ability is 15% chance to reduce physical and magical uh, crit hits. So you'll take less less damage of that. Um, well, less crit damage from that. Second is increase physical and magic defense plus 3% and give you 10% HP. Third is have 10% chance of dealing 100 damage with dark, light, thunder, fire, nature, and ice abilities. Well, elements. Excuse me. Uh, fourth ability is 5% attack and casting speed and plus 10% hit. Added additional male selection costumes. Increase the drop rate of talents requested via Discord. Reset Beast Tower. Okay. And then the latest thing that they did was a little bit of fixes. And 
the new content. Added nine new rings, eight new headpieces, eight new costumes, seven new weapons, well, costume weapons, uh, 12 new mounts, four new dungeons, eight new combat, eight normal combat. What the fuck is eight normal combat? <laughs> uh, created an item that functions like a mushroom and offers 5% physical damage and physical magic with a 15% hit when activated. Uh, two minutes and a duration of 30 seconds and stacks with mushrooms. It is a permanent item, so you can just use that. Item. That's actually pretty nice. And that's pretty much it. But yeah, that's all that's going on with um, memories. Like I said, they're it kind of seemed like they're all over the place. They did show some cool spoiler stuff though. Uh, like they have like a Saint Seiya. Uh, if you guys never heard of his Zodiac Knights, they have a little neat thing going on there. Like the costumes that look like them. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'm sure that's exactly what it is. I actually look. They actually look pretty nice, not gonna lie to you. And they have one more thing that's like a delivery bag. <laughs> a delivery bag cosmetic coming to the game. So, yeah. Little little things, little things. Uh, Next thing, the last thing we're going to be talking about uh, is Newcraft. Newcraft has quite a bit of things that they did. Uh, the last time I actually recorded, uh, level 70 is now the max level for them. So that just randomly came out as soon as I was done with that recording. Uh, the next thing is, okay, they have a whole list here. One is they move many items to be attained in PvP and redefine PvP item, well, PvP rules and removed controversial rules. Uh, number two, ban accounts with abnormal data, including cheating players and strengthening cheating measures. Three, deleting illegal items and skills. Four, delete all items from VFS from level six through ten. I hmm, wonder what's going on there. I've never really done v, VFS because I had never had enough damage reduction to deal with a uh, damage reflection so yeah that's that was an issue hopefully one of these servers will let me experience that for the first time uh five game ui organization organization wait hold up what what does that mean i need to know what that means when you say organization what did what did you organize what did you change um the number six is a weird one a new login and website will be launched to resolve po false positive of viruses i know what false positive are for viruses it's like your it's basically like your uh security software will flag it as a virus but it's not actually a virus but i didn't even know that was the thing that was going on my security software didn't flag anything. But um, the, the main thing I would like them to do is instantly minimize their launcher as soon as it logs me into the game because that's an issue, especially if somebody is streaming this private server and it could actually like link, you know, usernames and info like that. That, that needs to be looked into to change up that launcher or at least hide the info as soon as it's logged in like as soon as i click login it should go to a different little menu or screen that says like you are currently playing or something that doesn't show their login or password information like that that needs to be changed that is that is a big flaw that has to be looked at with your launcher uh, number seven, removing existing staff team and reforming a new team. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Number nine. Oh, no. Number eight. 
uh, price reduction for all AP items will be reduced. Oh. Oh. Pretty interesting. Okay, I haven't looked at that yet. Remove new dungeon. Uh, uh, number nine. Remove new dungeon and reduce gold given. Add some fame type to dungeon missions. Reduce gold given. Okay, so it... Must have been the new dungeon they created. Uh, number 10. Three to five limited time theme park dungeon? Only only three to five. So you can't you can't just go in there solo. It has to be three to five, right? Or is that three or five for something else? I don't know. Uh, Fane Tower changed to weekly. And number 12 is bring back more old skills and optimize skill icons and more. That's all they put at the end is and more. And they have something that says after level 70, we will add more free events, evasion events that will that the gap between players will not be too large. Yeah, let me say some some pretty interesting stuff, some pretty cool stuff. But um with that said, I'm going to go ahead and take you guys and take you out to your little dungeon go through now. Now that we're all caught up with all the information that's going on, new craft and memories are progressing pretty pretty fastly, honestly. It's actually pretty interesting to see. Uh, Violet's already gone through a, a lot of interesting changes. So it's interesting to see what else they end up doing as well. But with that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to yeah, let you guys go on. So then, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you didn't enjoy the video, leave a dislike. Either way it goes, it gives me interaction and helps people find my videos. And so then, He's out. All right. Okay. Second part of this video. I'm recording early in the morning. Since, since, since um, yesterday, I got home. And the area actually took a lot longer than I thought. All right. We leveled up four times during that whole thing. And I'm actually surprised we actually leveled up. I think they changed the XP. For enemies in the area as well to where they give more i think that's why it feels so much faster to level that's at least my theory and that's only a game theory. No, okay, i'll stop but i need to go get my new skills oh god there's a lot of you Okay, we have that. I made sure to buy this quest before it get, before I got to level 60. Because level 60, I think it would have not let me buy it, so I couldn't get the um, title. Thank God I did remember that. We are almost to level 65. Then we could do our level up. So almost done. That level up our uh, next class, which is Mystic. So we have all of our classes. Well, all of our uh, forms leveled up. I 
something bored. Oh, it's this one. Okay. I had to remember if this was like Deserted Temple or the Deserted Temple layout, which was like all the sand and stuff. I've been slowly trying to get my gear going again. Because I need to catch up my gear. That's why I cannot uh, withstand. Oh, do I have the gloves already? Oh, yeah. Okay, I can make this now. That's why I can't withstand. Um... What was it? Fighting greed right now to get all the rest of my yellow weapons because I'm taking too much damage. Like, my damage is alright right now. So I have the gloves now. Uh, the next thing I need is to do boots. Yeah, boots is the next thing. How much XP am I getting out of here? Uh, 2,000. Oh no, uh, 30,000. Okay, that's not bad at all. That's actually <laughs> still a lot better than outside. Yeah, they definitely increase how much XP enemies give you. It's not just a server multiplier. Um, I'm sure you have this, right? Yeah, go out and get those. Along with uh, you two. First, Let's see. Ah, oh. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. Hell yeah, I'll take that. after after this oh what I could do right now is buy this with a hundred percent screw it why not I'm curious how much I'll get just for the hundred okay I get like mm, five thousand extra
Oh yeah, I've learned that there's a certain animation. Like, I forgot about this. Like, there's a certain animation with the wolf form that allows you to skip an animation. So the, there's the scratching one to where the wolf form jumps in the air. Well, not jumps in the air. Stands on his two legs and starts scratching. Then there's one with the bite. The one with the bite, you can actually cancel. Animation cancel, where it does nothing else. That one, you cannot, because it'll do that afterwards. I've totally forgot about this. But if I was to do this, I would actually went off. Yeah, see, I don't do that animation at the end. The wolf form animation for the clawing, unfortunately, you cannot, you cannot uh, animation cancel that because the animation will go off at the end of that clawing. Thank God that was actually a one take too. I don't have to keep attacking certain enemies for that. So it's pretty much RNG on if you're gonna get stuck in animation afterwards. There's a lot of animation skips that you can do with Druid. They're just odd. Okay, I should level after the next two. Or three. Oh yeah, Nightmare Quarter. Okay, cool. I wonder if they changed a lot about Nightmare. Not gonna lie, I don't care about that. I got a key. Don't need that, thankfully. I'm happy a lot of servers are Throwing away the whole dungeon key bullshit. Especially if you need like a... Like a carry to come in and help. Even though you probably shouldn't, but... It depends. Always remember, if your damage feels off... You're probably, um... Very far into your weapon mastery. For the current gear you have so just level up that current gear I also gotta remember, I haven't been enhancing gear, really. Because this isn't gear that I'm gonna actually, like, stick with. Stop at like level 60. Oh, made my fool again. Oh, Jesus. Um. Oh, yeah, there's a hunting quest for this. I say this is ridiculous, though. <laughs> I say this whole table gives like a lot of XP. I think they lowered. No, nah, I think they lowered the requirement for how much XP you need. I think that's what it is. It has to be.
That could also be another reason why a lot of people like the server so much. It's hunt, right? Yeah, I need a hunting order. 50, 55. Hold on. I know there's a way to tell which order there it is. Sprite gathering, hunting. Level 55 is deep sea hunting. So, number 26. Yeah, deep sea hunting. So it's this one. I gotta make sure to get that. Oh, it's not on here. Okay, so you don't have it yet. Oh, I don't wanna have enough hide. That's... Huh. No deep sea hunting and... You just do it for fun. All of you guys just gather hide, please. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah, I was supposed to check their Discord and see if they did anything new. But nah, no no new patch notes from what I've seen. Yeah, no new patch notes for any of for either server currently going on right now. Yeah, these things are. Yeah, gear is like really easy to level. Let's see, is there anything else? Yep. Strength. Okay, yeah, it definitely feels like there's a 100% chance of you getting at least one point. into the gear. Either that or it's just... No, 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 there isn't. Is there? Maybe? Yes, there is. Huh? There is? But there also seems like a chance of an extra point? Because I don't remember... Um... I wonder if I'm getting this right in my head. Because... For some reason, in my head, I am thinking. Am I going the right way? That way. For some reason, in my head, I am thinking that um, the official server didn't do such a thing. It was a chance of getting a point every time you got a level. Another level up, hell yeah. Okay, so with the way this is going, okay, we got the 
mission order too. Oh no, we got what? We got twenty-five. God damn it! I guess that does make sense. Get get the fucking seeds out of here. I hate the seeds. I say I have no problem using dumplings. We don't need this. How much is it? Okay, yeah, we can't do that. But we don't need that. <laughs> so I can grab those. Okay, so now we can make the boots. Oh, God, excuse me. Damn hiccups. My soul. Yeah. That can get out of my face. This can go away. Okay, yeah, we gotta go this way. Okay, so now we need to be farming deep sea. Oh, goddamn misfortune. I did get the uh, gorilla form talent too. Somebody was actually selling that in auction. It was 30 gold though, which is pretty damn high for just a level one. The weird thing is, I have yet to see a lot of talents drop. A saint will drop here. Not what I was trying to do. So I've kind of been searching for another hammer so I can start getting rid of stuff.
This hammer does more damage. Ah, and it has uh, the burn that increases damage. The heal effect, I can't do. But the magic healing's great. I'm going to lose a little bit of damage for a while. Is that the mission order? I think it is. Yep, there it is. Don't give me that face. Here, have, have a Snickers. Oh yeah, this is going to be a lot of leveling. Jesus. Um, We still need a lot of hide, though. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cancel this order. And focus on... Last one. Oh, since you have double, you keep going. Oh yeah, you're you're an optional boss. Actually, I could just deal with them here. And I should level up off you guys. As you guys can see, from a free display perspective, uh, Violet, they actually, it's actually very well done. That's about, let's just say, if you really like soloing, it's actually like very easy. But you lose the challenge though. But if you only care about the soloing part, so far Violet is like really good for that. Then more of a actual group group instead of like tank. Ah, oh, barrier drop. That's funny. Mostly use Gorilla Form for like tougher bosses that like to summon minions. You also gotta remember Gorilla Form adds on to the damage reduction too. That's why Gorilla is also good for like higher, higher dungeons with reflection damage, just because it adds on so much. It only adds on more the more you uh, increase it. Drop. Nice, nice. Ooh, 
We are almost there. I actually expected this to take a lot longer. Oh, it's been a while, you. But the funny thing is, we're basically caught up to the level of uh, the next dungeon. So next video, we will be ready for our class change. Reaching 7,000 around this point is it's pretty standard. Cease your activities. Um. All right. So that's all my quest done. The funny thing is, I wasn't going to use my points on anything but on anything but transport stones. But I just kind of want to see how much we were getting. How much did that give us? Oh, it gave us... Oh, it gave us 500. A... Oh, wait. We have our class change right now to Mystic. Oh, I thought it was like level... Six... Wait. Oh, you could just do it now? I thought it was level 65. Okay, I was about to say, yeah, it's level 65. What What is going on here? Okay, so that's done. Then there's this quest. Wait, excuse me? Ah, oh, then the shitty element ones. The element ones that barely do any damage. You sound familiar. I could do all of them. I mean, they give 15 gold, so why not? Uh, you sound familiar. Oh, it's Cave. That's why it sounds familiar. Why didn't this sh show up in my quest? Throws me off a bit. That did not show up at all. Oh shit, I didn't go to the board. I say there should be a board here, right?
Oh wait, was that the wrong quest? God damn it. I just realized that that was definitely the wrong quest. Supposed to be doing this one. My brain. I don't know why I thought it was that one. But then again, that's what happens when you don't play for a whole day. You forget where the fuck you are. I mean, it's all right. I'll just rerun it at this. I mean, I can rerun it again just to get the level 65. I mean, that's not an issue, especially since I like to collect all the titles, too. My brain, man. All right. Turn that on. Uh, I'll pay more attention this time. <laughs> That's actually funny. Wait. Ah, oh, that's Roaring Maw. Uh, where's the other one? <laughs> there it is. Throw that in there before I make a mistake and get rid of that. Ah, oh, shit. I said I should calm down trying to sell every single thing. Yeah, have we been... I don't think we have been. Uh, but say, have we been multiplying you? Well, City Island training. I don't think we have. Oh, nope. Don't do that. Just need to make a lot of space right now. Guess we'll keep the rest of the stuff just in case it requires us to um, have the crystals for it or if it keeps failing. Okay, we could try again, see how this is going. Wait, are we not in mutated? Wait a minute, hello? Game? I just want to change to mutated. Oh, mutated disabled. Uh, I was always in mutated. There we go. I didn't even know it was on. There's no indication around here to tell me that it's on.
Does that not work? Huh. Wait, how the hell did... Now he gets more aggressive. Oh, I forgot you have that annoying uh, reflection. If you guys want to see Gorilla Forms, um, talents, I can show that after, after this fight. 30%, yeah, it's supposed to return 30% damage, but we don't receive that much. to our little O damage reflection. Well, not damage reflection, uh, damage reduction. Like I said, Gorilla Form is very good for bosses. It just takes a lot longer. Oh, damn, it gave me six? I do know that these are overpriced as hell inside of auction. And so you got people selling, um, what is it? Oh, well, shit. Uh, yeah, the people selling some emblems for like 2,000. And I believe it's, um, Sunken Fortress. I don't know. Let's go try greed. Why not? What's the worst I can have, you know? I just don't beat it at all. <laughs> Yeah, this this doesn't mean anything because War Cry. Now I'm gonna show you how much damage that does. Haha, <laughs> nothing because War Cry. <laughs> now you don't do enough mana damage for a uh, mind shock. Mind shock is probably the least skill you would be using. You're mostly want to be using uh, this, the rage skill. Oh, you bitch. Wake up, you little shit. I 
gonna say I need my defense. I didn't realize they actually hit me. Oh, God damn it, the animation got me caught. God, animations take so long. I mean, the least I can do is just get the blind. I should change it to ah uh, fuck. Should change my talents. Gonna make sure War Cry is on at all times. As soon as it reaches past that two, I gotta start, start spamming it. Cause he's gonna start spamming that skill constantly. Oh, thank God I got it just in time. And the best thing about like Warcry, it has nothing to do with evasion. Because since it's the boss's stat and not yours, I know that I out level him, which I, I out level him to where he's gray to where I am able to dodge a lot more. That's only if I'm not stunned now. Good thing I got it into a cycle to where he always brings up that stun. To where I can't avoid it with the war cry. He has it exactly tied with my war cry. Hello? I was about to say, is it going to go off any time soon? Come on, drop me. Drop me the emblems. Please don't be an ass. I don't want to do this again. <laughs> For the love of God. There we go. 
Those emblems? Hell yes, emblems. Oh, shit. Four of them. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we did it. We conquered... We conquered, uh... <sighs> Mutated Greed. Gorilla Form for the win. Like I said, Gorilla Form's great with bosses. It's just that she wouldn't have the DPS and damage. As uh, other classes would. Okay. So I... <laughs> Before that even happened, I did want to go to... Um... <laughs> Go back to the dungeon and farm. Shit. Oh, we're not going to get much XP out of this. Yeah, we're not getting any XP out of that. Um. Oh. Maybe because I'm still in that. No, I sh should. That still shouldn't count. Huh. Okay, nah. He's just not gonna give me any more XP off this. Um, let me just run straight to the bosses. That's one thing I can do. But uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking of, the gorilla talent. If I was to put this on and this, this is the gorilla talent. It's it's not good at all. It's, well, I wouldn't say it's not good. It's mostly good for like, <sighs> meh. <laughs> now nah, I think about it, it's just meh. You would think it would have something to do with like tanking, right? But it doesn't. I mean, it has to do with accuracy. So I guess it's more of a PvP thing? That's my guess. Probably a PvP thing. Yeah. I get, think it gives a little bit of cooldown to this. Or I, I'm actually not sure what the hell it gives cool down to. Gorilla's Wrath. It makes me think it's the Wrath of the Giant Gorilla. But, yeah. Right now, Forest is definitely, definitely the better one. Oh god, I'm stuck. Gotta 
I said this video won't be up until like the next day anyway. That's what happens with these like small recording sessions. They can actually get pretty large. I say, and I also forgot how long it took to clear like actual areas. Oh fuck. I won't crit right now. Those chunky hits. Okay, we have another talent we can sell. Should be getting ready for work. That's that's the funny part. <laughs> My brain was like, nah, we gotta do this first. Sucks that that only lasts for 12 hours. Thankfully, it also tells you that it's that it stops going down if you're offline. That's why I don't like stay online to collect these uh these points just because of the speed buffs like especially if you're doing like a free player run those are very precious too and i don't think they actually give you one it's out of here either that you could just grab that movement speed is pretty precious That's why I haven't run out of mind yet. Also goes to show you how much I've been playing too and how far I've got. It hasn't even been like 24 hours on this account yet. Alright, there's that done. There's that done. Free 30 gold. Uh, can I use this? Yes, I can. So we'll form. Now we, uh... Travel over here. Oh, we can grab the shit from here, though. I say I really don't want to like do the dungeon until I finish Gaia. Then we have to do these. But um, I just want the XP from it, honestly. Whoops. Where is Ancient? There it is. 
Wait, no, that's not the same place, right? No, I'm thinking of, uh, what call it? Uh, there's a quest here. Hello? Who are you? Apparently you have a quest. Oh, it's probably for, um, what should we call it? Let me see. It's probably for you, ain't it? Yes, yeah, it's for that. Okay, so... I remember what the shape of the map was. I just can't remember where the fit he was. My brain, dude, you're... Well, if you gotta remember, you're on a time limit here. Damn it. Okay. Because... My brain right now. Okay, it was Sprite Force. God damn it. I just kept hovering over it. Not same level as me. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I guess we can. Uh. How long would this take? It wouldn't take very long, but it's gonna be to the point to where I can't edit this video. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wait until after work. Yeah, okay, we're good. We'll get enough XP for it now. We made a lot of progress, though. Now, if I was just dungeon rushing, I would be leveling, like, very quickly. Oh, it is giving a lot of XP to you. What if I was just to take that off? Okay. Now, what if I was to... 100%. Oh, yeah, we would get big chunks. Like I said, I'm still surprised they haven't lowered this to a certain amount. So if I really cared that much, I could just... Make sure we don't get any mushrooms. Yeah, where I am right now, I could literally just constantly farm this dungeon over and over again. Just to get some points. Just wanted to test that. Okay, um... 
Level up quests. Oh, rank up quests. I don't know why I keep saying level up. Uh, character. Yo, what's up, man? Appreciate you. Oh, it gives me my forms once I get here. Okay, that's nice. Now we get to actually see everything. Thankfully, we don't have to go out on those quests and anything. <laughs> okay, so Spirit Wolf. Ah, Fatal Series. I lose crit chance, though. That's the sucky part. I, I lose crit chance. But it's a lot better than Beard Wolf. So what's going on here? Oh, I forgot. You also have a second one in there too, right? And that's the eagle form, which is awful. Gonna get, you know, that too. There's Earth Master for more damage reduction. So that's seventy percent. Ooh, that's actually not have bad. So, There's another one with you. Nature Wizard. Increase the target's HP by... Oh. It's not half bad. Okay, so this is Brave Nature. If I wanted to be more defensive, yeah, this would be great, but... Hmm. Yeah, no, Wolf Form would definitely help with that a lot more. I could freely change the star talents. It will suck that it sucks that I miss out on that crit chance, but that's just a sacrifice I gotta make, you know. This is not tradable, right? Oh no, I can't sell this. I can put these on too. At least until I'm done with my gear. He's only get three points. I also got this book, which I can't use. Wait, no. This book. Yeah, which I can't use because of quills. Uh, what I am going to do is... Throw this out. And throw this in. For a long time down the road of reincarnation. But um, as of right now, I'm going to end it off there. Uh, that's basically it. Uh, that was the point I was trying to get to.
and I will edit this video as soon as I get off work. <laughs> I say a job well done. Oh yeah, there was a mailbox here. Why did I do that? I don't think there is a person here who gives what you call it um wait where'd it go am i blind oh there it is but yeah more pve content rewards i think you just get that for killing the the boss the end boss of a dungeon right i think that's what happens as soon as you kill the end boss, you get that. You have a chance of getting it. Whichever one. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There's something else I wanted to check. Uh... Untamed. I wanted to see how much. Okay, so. Damn. Damn. Fifteen percent. So that means, um, damn it. Oh, I had to do it like that. Okay. Doesn't search the nearest thing. Okay, that's 15 as well. Okay. Too bad this is... Can't just change that without changing Spirit Wolf. I need to start crafting my two-handed sooner or later. Damn it, guys. Jesus. Who else is... Okay, dude. Alright. I'm gonna ship you guys off somewhere. I swear. Alright. Go for there. Alright. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until then, peace out. Gotta get ready for work.